What's going on people? In this episode, I'm super hyped because we have a back to back comparison. Finally, PRS pickups. I'm Jorge Lanza saying now, we break it down, baby. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for being here once again. And remember, as usual, like, subscribe, and do all those cool little things that we like to do on YouTube so you and I can stay in touch with each other. Anyway, okay, as you can tell, I'm finally getting off a nasty, nasty cold. So I don't sound like I usually sound. But I couldn't help myself to share with you guys the PRS 8515 TCI USA pickups. I know you guys have been along for the ride because I've been interacting with you almost every day because <laughs> I've been documenting the process pretty nicely and you guys have been awesome in the comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And as you guys saw, uh, we went through the process of installing it in the videos right here if you haven't seen it. Um, but I did all the geeky stuff, the soldering and all that stuff and we had a lot of fun in the comments and stuff. Okay, anyway. So we did all that thing and then at the end of the video, I did a little bit of a play, you know, and we hang out together and I told you guys what I felt at the moment and we even compared it with the Strat and that was pretty cool because I think really put it into evidence that it does sound almost like freakishly Strat-y. <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, I love Strats and I'm not saying like I'm a Strat connoisseur but I at least I have three Strats and I played maybe three or four more in my life and and I, I've i heard tons and, and I'm a geek. I watch every single video on YouTube and I have a nice like audio system so I, I know what I'm listening to is what I'm saying. <laughs> it does sound Strat-y and that day I was even like cautious about saying that it sounded stratty before I even show it to you guys and heard it together. And anyway, I'm talking too much. That day, I first before I did the pickups, I did a little bit of a play and I recorded three little riffs that I'm going to share with you right now. We're going to listen to them. And you're going to tell me in the comments what do you think about them. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, so as you can tell, incredibly impressed with the sound, but the distorted sound... Wow! It totally blew me away. And you can see it in the video. I'm like reacting. I couldn't help myself, right? Because <laughs> I'm a very animated person. I was like super excited to hear Because, you know, I, I love listening to rock music and I love a really heavy guitar tone and I love that angle amp. And when I heard it, like the first chord on that bridge pickup, I was so impressed. Just like... It's like super intense. And when you hear it on the neck, like... It's pretty intense. And something that I remember about the old pickups, I, I used to say that they had a little bit of like a vintage flair to them. This is not the case on this. I'm sorry, the noise is killing me and the heat, it's incredible. So anyway, it had a little bit of like a vintage vibe and for better or worse, depending on what do you like more, <laughs> let me know in the comment section. And that's exactly why I wanted to do this video so bad. Nobody's done it so far, or at least like with the quality that I, that I wanted, you know, just to like actually compare. <laughs> and so I really wanted to do it and I did it, right? And I noticed the first thing that you lose going from the import pickups to the USA version is that old school flair, it's gone. Because I used to think, remember, I, if you saw the video comparing the Les Paul with the PRS, um, I do a little, I, I say that the Les Paul sounds like more modern, in like a 90s, 2000s kind of way. And the the PRS sounded a little bit more nostalgic in my ears. And and it had a little bit more like a, like a, more like a bursty, but like a, not like an actual burst, because those are like, like more spanky. But like an old Les Paul, more like a classic, that fat sound of a Les Paul. You know what I mean? Not, not like the super, super telly kind of sound, but the the very rounded, almost like the 490 kind of, you know, you know what I mean? It lost a little bit of that. And now it sounds in my ears, like a lot more modern guitar. Like there's nothing vintage about this. And that's the neck, much less here. You know what I mean? Like, you can play black metal with this, like, no problem. It's incredible. And then if you remember back in the day, somebody in the comments said it and then they deleted the comment, but I it came to my email and I read that they were mentioning Paul Ellender from Cradle of Filth. And I listened to Cradle of Filth through my youth and, and I remember his guitar with the bat inlays. Thank you for reminding me of that in the comments. And right now that I hear this sound, that's all I can think of. <laughs> Super modern sound, very good for metal. So I guess maybe what I would like to say, because I, I do have that Charvel too equipped with the classics, but those are not even in the modern sound, I think sounds as modern as these pickups. However, something that I, I even told myself during the edit, I talked about how huge the dynamic range is in these pickups. And something about the compression on, on the import version gives you a little bit more freedom to just like hit it hard and, and, and there's not much variation in that like, let's say 30 to 40% of the gain that you might have with the pickups. I feel like this one has a lot more. So it gives you a lot more space to be expressive, but you have to play really tight if you really want to be tight. So let's say if you were in a metal band, and sort of what you do is very technical and you're like really precise and you really need that heavy tone, but with a lot of like good response, these pickups are pretty impressive. Honestly, like I played Fishman's, I played Gibson's, I played EMG's and this, the impression that this, and, and the kind of surprise that I had with this, I've never had with a guitar. <laughs> Cause I know my amps, right? And a lot of you guys do too, because I use the exact same tones in every single one of my videos, just because I wanted to have that continuity because I want my channel a little bit to be of a reference for the people like me who want to hear that and the people who can appreciate that will appreciate it. That's that's my, my purpose for the channel to do that kind of things. And so if you're looking for that kind of space, you have it. Let's say if you are like more animated when you play live and you just want to be headbanging and stuff like that, this thing is not as forgiving. 
it's going to show that you are sloppy in that 30%. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it that way, but it is going to show. But if you're like super tight and precise and amazing, this might be for you. Let's try to do this test, right? So much dynamic range. Even with that insane amount of distortion, which this guitar had, and, and I did a little bit of a, like a test trying to prove that out. But let's see if I can try to replicate that same test. Sorry if that was boring, but that was very interesting. And if you're a geek like me, let me know in the comment section <laughs> that, that you appreciated that kind of test. Like, can you believe it? Like, it's a huge dynamic range. So whatever, that could be good or it could be bad for you. But I'm just telling you and I'm presenting you with some facts, okay? So that, it's pretty, pretty intense. Other than that, there's not much to be said. Um, you know, it's, it's a great guitar. I've always said that this PRSSC, it's kind of surprising how in that budget range, they make it so good. And like somebody else said it, I don't even remember who said it on YouTube, but somebody said it, I'm not gonna take that credit, that the PRS SC is so good that they proved the industry wrong. That they proved that they can make a guitar that good for that cheap. I think that was what they say. Let's say that they didn't say cheap, but for that price. And I would have to really agree with that statement. And now that I changed the pickups, it's incredible. It, it really is. There's something still about the, rest of the electronics that uh, they're still a little bit dodgy. I don't know why, how I feel those things, but I, I notice just because my other guitars don't have those kind of finicky things. And most of them don't. When one of them does, it's kind of like sticks out a little bit more. So yeah, other than that kind of stuff about the electronics, going back to the pickups, it's very interesting how the sound can change so much yet retain that little bit of mid-range that still reminds me that it's a PRS. And let me know what you think about the pickups in the comment section, like very specifically. I don't like to say too much, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of what I thought. <laughs> and I said this when we were doing the, the install. To be an upgrade, these pickups would have to have more clarity. And I do think that in the test, we've proved that there is more clarity to the pickups. You can really, really hear every single string, every single note. And in my opinion, the voicing changes very drastically when you change pickups. Even if you're doing the same chord and you're hearing the same strings, just the balance that they're achieving with the difference of tone makes you feel different parts of the chord emphasized. And, and I, really, I really appreciate that. It allows you to be a little bit more expressive in the sense that how hard you are picking, you know? And the better you are, I'm, I'm pretty sure that a better guitar player than I am would be like so stoked to have that kind of granularity and control on your own tone, you know? Like that's why people say the tone is in the fingers. And that's what they're trying to say. The, the, the amount of emotion that you're able to convey, that's gonna come from your fingers. That part of the tone cannot come from anywhere else but your fingers. Like, that dynamic and how you're controlling the chords and that's what makes just the craft an art, right? That kind of, you're, that's your job as a guitar player, okay? We are all in different parts of that curve of trying to achieve the most expression that we can with our guitars, right? So I feel like these pickups are definitely a big step up. Of course, dynamic range, I already talked about dynamic range so much that you already know that dynamic range, these pickups beat the dynamic range on the import by like, a landslide that was the first thing that you if you do the switch that is the first thing or maybe i would think and this is hilarious just to add a little bit more to the debate of like the tone woods and pickups and all this kind of stuff imagine you are like a guitar center or sam ash or whatever or have your friend's house 
and you play a PRS SC with the import pickups, okay? And then they give you a PRS core with core pickups. Of course, when you feel the guitar, first the, the experience is gonna be incredible because every single guitar is different. Right? And I imagine that if they can, if a PRS SE can feel this good, like the construction so good and like so comfortable, you know, like you can make it your guitar and decide like, I'm not gonna sell it, I'm gonna upgrade this guitar, okay? Like I did. If it's that good, I can only imagine that a core, the woods feel a little bit better, they're a little bit more impressive, you know, the craftsmanship, because you do appreciate those kind of things. Like, for example, I do have the Fenders, like I have the, um, the Made in Mexico, then I have the American Pro 2, then I have the Ultra, and they all have the biggest difference is how they feel, the finish. So, if, if anything like that happens with the PRS core, then that's the first thing that they get you. But then, imagine, that as soon as the pickups have that big change, first of all, you're impressed with the body of the guitar and then they give you these pickups on top. It's like, you're gonna you're gonna wanna pay the money that it costs. You know what I mean? Or if you're like me, where you're trying to make your money stretch the most possible, maybe you drop a little bit of money and you buy the pickups and you put them in your PRS SE that you already love. Cause if you probably have a PRS SE and you haven't sold it, <laughs> you love it, right? So. Maybe this is the right crew and maybe that's the captive audience that they're trying to target. And I think they achieved it. I'm thankful that I have the pickups. They do sound incredible. I noticed that there's people that change PRS to Seymour Duncan. And I don't want to talk smack on anyone, but, and I love Seymour Duncans, but if you have a PRS with PRS pickups, it just feels so good. In my opinion, <laughs> let me know in the comment section what you feel about that. I'm rambling a little bit too much. I want to know what you think because I already said too much. Anyway, remember as usual, like if you like this video, definitely subscribe. Stay warm, stay safe. Go to the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Other than that, I'm out.